Well, first of all, I, uh, I would like to say that I, I really think it was a great fight, uh, fight for female boxing. Um, you know, I, I think they did both really great and, and that kind of fights are the kind of fights that makes uh, female boxing grow. So that's a really positive thing. And I mean, about her weaknesses, um, I think I, I always say this, we, we all have weaknesses, you know, and, and it's normal to to study your opponent. And and that's what I've been doing the, the late, uh, the last months. Um, so of course she has, she as all of us has weaknesses. I, I also have them. So I guess that she has also been studying me, you know, so. <laughs> yeah good stuff and also about a year and a half ago now you fought Rachel Ball who's also on the show on Saturday night when you guys fought each other you were already kind of on the pathway to a world title shot and maybe her not so much but now you're both challenging for your first world title on the same show did, yeah. did you ever did you see that potential in Rachel when you guys fought yeah, I think she has a huge physical potential. I mean, uh, she has um, a really long reach. Uh, she's really tall. I mean, she was quite a lot taller than me. And, and now that she has dropped like two weight divisions, I mean, she has a huge physical advantage uh, with her opponents. So that's a really good thing. And, um, and you know, then, then she's been consistent and, and uh, she's kept on training, which is something really good. Um, and yeah, absolutely. It's, it's great to, to be on the, on, the, on the same show as her. <laughs> and just one more before I let you go. I'm sure a lot of other people want to ask you some questions. Um, on paper, you won't know for sure until you get in the ring, but is Terry Harper the best you faced on paper so far? Well, I mean, it must it must be the most important fight that I've uh, gone, you know, for the... Uh, on, until this moment that's no doubt about that so yes on paper yes <laughs> thank you very much and, and good luck on saturday thank night. you thank you very much thanks danny uh, if we hand over to daniel next uh hey katharina how are you doing today very good thank you <laughs> uh thanks for taking the time to talk to us You're um welcome. we've seen talks with women in sports, uh, especially in boxing, about uh, pay within the sport. Another key t topic has been the two-minute rounds uh, within women's boxing. What are your thoughts on the rounds and if they, the requirement to change them down the line? It's actually one of the things that I've never, ever understood. I mean, uh, because I think all of, all of us women train uh, three minutes. Uh, at the gym so you know for me it's really awkward that we have to fight only two minute rounds and and it definitely changes our way of boxing too because um, in two minutes it's it's difficult to um, to have you know the time that the males have to study your opponent for instance so you know uh, sometimes our fights are really really active because we think that we only have two minutes to to do all our job um, so I really hope that we can get those three three minute rounds and I'm sure that we will get a higher KO rate as well, you know, in our fights. Uh, because I, I've felt that many, many times that I kind of almost have my opponent there and then the, the bell rings. So, uh, you know, we have a lot of time to recover because it's two minutes and then one minute rest, two minutes, one minute rest. So it's, it's more difficult for us to... Um, to, to win a knockout. <laughs> and hopefully uh, you, you were able to get what you desire. And just one more question from me. Uh, women's boxing, uh, and especially even during this pandemic, has seen a historic 2020 and in 2021 can even reach greater heights. How do you feel about leading the charge, especially on this great card this weekend with Katie Taylor and yourself and Terry Harper? Well, it's it's great. It's great to see how women's boxing is growing, and and you know, um, it's it's great to see, and it's a big honor to be part of it. Absolutely. Thank you, and good luck this weekend. Thank you. <laughs> okay, if we pass to George Priestman next, George, did you want to jump in? Hi, how are you? Very good, and you? <laughs> 
Yeah, good, thanks. Just a couple of questions. Um, obviously, yeah. you thought you fought three times in 2019 and obviously were very active. And this is your first fight in a year, which is obviously due to the pandemic. But will that have an effect? I don't think so, because I've been training, uh, you know, full time and I didn't really have a rest from, from training. Um, and it was also, you know, a time where, where I got to, I, I had the chance to improve a lot of things, which is sometimes difficult when you're preparing for a specific fight. Um, so actually, in that sense, I, I, see, I see a positive thing about it. And, um, and, and since I've not been away from the gym, um, I don't think it's, it's a big problem that I didn't fight for a year. <laughs> Um, just one more question. Um, this is a, obviously a, a world title shot for you and you've earned your shot at the title um, winning your last fight, obviously. Um, so how much does this fight mean to you? It means a lot. I mean, it's, it's the fight I've been dreaming for, um, you know, during many, many years, actually. So being here is, uh, is you know, it, it's an amazing feeling. <laughs> Thanks very much. Best of luck with the weekend. Thank you. <laughs> Um, if you pass to Ames from Boxing News TV next. Ames here from Boxing News TV. Pleasure to meet you, Katharina. How are you? The same. I'm good. And you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not too bad. Um, so <laughs> could you tell me what your family and friends have said to you in the lead up to this fight? They all must be very excited for you. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're all very disappointed that, that you know, they cannot be here. Um, mm. But, you know, they, they all tell me that the, that even if they can't be in the audience, they will be watching the TV and, and like giving me all their support from, from abroad. Um, but, you know, they, they all support me a lot. They tell me that I just have to do what I know to do best and, um, and enjoy, of course. You know, it's really important to, to enjoy and just keep the focus. And, yeah. <laughs> yeah is, is there that bit of sadness there? Because this is obviously the biggest moment of your career to date, but your, your family and friends won't be ringside. Yeah, I mean, f for me, it's, it's not that bad, you know, because when I go into the ring, I, I'm so concentrated and focused that I don't really think about the audience at all. But I think that for them, it's, it's really sad, you know, especially for the people that, that are close to me, like, you know, my, my closest family and friends, they, they would really would, you know, they, they would have um, loved to be there, you know, to, to watch me, especially people that have been following me during all my career. And, and I have, you know, people that has been traveling uh, every time I've been fighting in, in different countries. So, <laughs> so it's, it's where that they can't, you know, um, assist when I'm going to box in, in Wembley Arena, which is a really emblematic place as well. <laughs> so, uh, but you know, it is what it is. And we just have to see the positive sides of everything. And um, I, I think it could be a good thing for me this time that it's not with an audience <laughs> because I'm, I'm, the, I'm the one, you know, boxing from, from outside. So, <laughs> So, you know, has it been easy or hard to relax with this big moment coming up? Oh, I'm, I'm very, very calm, actually. Uh, I'm not nervous at all. I feel really good. Um, so, you know, of course, uh, I guess I will have some nerves when I'm in the dressing room, maybe just about to go out to the ring. I think those kind of nerves are quite normal. But, but no, I'm very calm. Um, positive I'm just chilling here in the bubble I actually enjoy it a lot uh, because you you can concentrate in a completely different way than when you're at home so uh, yeah no I'm, I'm feeling very good I think I saw an article on seconds out you said that you saw weaknesses in Terry Harper could you elaborate on some of those weaknesses you've seen no I will keep those for myself <laughs> <laughs> fair enough no worries um I just want to know like um as well like We've had quite a few contentious decisions over here on these shores. Do you have any anxiety in terms of the scorecards? If you think you won in your mind at the end of the final bell, but you don't get the result on the scorecards, do you have that anxiety at all? Um, well, I try not to focus on that. Uh, but of course, I, I really hope for a fair result. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think it's a bad thing for boxing in general when, when <coughs> we see this kind of huge... Um, robberies you know because we work a lot we sacrifice a lot so you know it, it's i don't think it's a good thing for boxing uh 
uh, in general. So, so yeah, of course that has um, been in my mind, but I, I try not to focus on it. Um, of course, I know that I will have to do um, a big job. I, I don't have to only win the, the, the fight against Harper, but I, I also have to convince, you know, the, the English judges and, <laughs> and you know, so um, I'm prepared for that, yeah. <clears throat> And just my final question for you. Um, you talked about it a little bit, but I just want you to elaborate on it a little bit more. What does it mean for you if you're victorious at the final bell and you're lifting those titles up in the air? I think words, uh, you know, can't really explain how, how big that is for me. But, you know, um, I'm so passionate about boxing and it's, yeah, basically my life and, and what I, what I, you know, what I love the most of, of all the things that I do. So, so for me, you know, it's a, a huge dream that will come true. <laughs> all the best for the weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> if you pass to Jonathan next. Mm. Hey, Katharina. Jonathan. Hey, here. how are you? I'm good. Thanks. How are you doing? <laughs> very good. Good. Um, Terry said that in her last fight, I don't know if you managed to watch it, but against Natasha Jonas, she got dragged into a war and that she's hoping against you that that doesn't happen. But is that your intentions to drag Terry Harp into, into a war in this fight? You will see that on Saturday. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, just in terms of being on a bill, a world title triple header that's headlined by Katie Taylor, um, I just wondered how much of Katie's career you've you've watched and what it means to be a part of a bill like this in the UK? Well, I mean, she she must be like the the the, the example <laughs> for all of us, I think, you know, like I think we all admire her a lot. Um, so, of course, it, it's a big honor to to share, well, to be on the same event that she is. That's a really big thing. Yes, of course. Um, just lastly, you mentioned about not having a crowd and that it might benefit you. Does it, do you think it will play into your hands the fact that there is no loud UK crowd in attendance? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I think that it, it's quite normal. We are all human and, and you know, it's, I think it's normal that the judges can be influenced um, by, by the crowd, you know, when they, they shout um and support their own boxer you know I, I think that's a quite normal thing so of course taking away that i i think um they can most probably come to a more uh, neutral decision you know because i've seen for instance when terry harper fought eva wallstrom the scorecards were <laughs> quite weird because <laughs> it was a quite close fight and the scorecards didn't really show that so, uh, but of course, I think it was like 10,000 people, you know, shouting her name. <laughs> so that has a lot to do, I think.